Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. I am going to do number 11 from the Crafter's Companion Template Library. And it's a concertina surprise box. And I'm looking back here and there's like something in the box. It says concertina photo album. Join the tab to make it longer so we will see how that goes um i'm just gonna start out with an embossing tool because i emboss it instead of writing on it that way i don't have to worry about um i don't have to worry about erasing the lines i am using my um, diamond press silicone mat because it gives me the firmness to do this without ripping it but it's also soft enough that I can um, leave a little bit of embossing on it uh, let me see if this is in okay let me scoot this over a little bit here I have the um, matte colors from this other one. I don't know if I'm using it yet or not. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. Uh, but I did want to... Oh, no, I need that over, don't I? Okay. So I'm going to tape it down. I like to tape it down... <laughs> Sometimes get to where I don't, and then I'm, I usually regret it. Because it really doesn't take that long to tape it down. And then I'm always sorry that I didn't. So, is the whole thing in frame? Okay. So I'm just going to take, and I'm just going to emboss the outside first. And I'm going to use a firm hand because this is firm enough cardstock. I'm just going to do the outside first. I want to make sure I leave in a boss image. Like good enough. And another reason, and, and for people that watch me all the time, I'm sure they're tired of hearing me say this, but... Um, Another good thing about using the embossing tool is that the embossing tool only fits in one way. So I don't have to worry about lining up my marks and all of that. Okay, now I'm going to have to go through here and figure out the score lines. This is a score line here. So I got that one. This is a score line. Get that one. This is a score line. A score line. It's always a little bit easier. And there's a score line here. And a score line here. See, I got off where I was. I, would, I was doing these score lines up here. This is the score line. Make sure you're not messing up the matte and layer lines. Okay. And then this thing here in the center of this rounded, those are three or two score lines, however you want to put it here. Each one of these corners in here and here. Score line. I did these already. That's a matte and layer line. Score line, matte and layer. Score line, score line. That's a matte and layer. I think I got them all. Okay, so. 
believe I did. Okay, that one not so good. Kind of skipped that one. Hopefully, I'll be able to cut it. Anyways. So this one's got a little tab here. And I'm just going to try to do it inside the embossed lines. I'm going to cut this away because I'm going to need to get in here where this little tab is. And I don't want to fight big pieces of paper to do it. So I'm going to get in here. Cut into here. And then I'm going to go around here. Okay. Now, the only thing you have to really worry about when you do that embossing thing is if you emboss it too hard and it tears. Now, it doesn't leave a smooth line for one thing if you want it to look all smooth and pretty. The other thing is you could be cutting a score line. So, you know, go with a lighter hand. Kind of lift and check and see. And if you got to come back again, come back again and try not to rip through, basically, is what you're doing when you do it that way. So try not to do that. Try not to rip through. Your score line. I don't understand. This should have had one of these also, so see, I messed up and I got to do it again. So if you want to fast forward it to, you can do that. But I didn't do this little tabby thing here. And how I missed that, I don't know. But we need those tabs to stick it together. So that's actually what made me look. Because I thought, wait, how am I putting this together if there's only one tab on it? But this really doesn't have as many lines as I thought it was going to have. So that makes it a little easier for me. Score line. Score line. Score line. Score line. It's very easy to lose track of where you are on it. And sometimes I'll work just from one side going to the other, and then sometimes that works better. Score, 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 score. These are all score lines here. Score. These are scores. That's a score. These are score. That's a score. That's a score. And these score. Score, score. 
score, score. Oh, that's, that's a mat. I hope I didn't score that. <laughs> All right, let's see now what I got. All right, it looks right to me. They all look like they're there. Now I have to cut. So I think what I'll do is just go ahead, cut from here, down to here. I really thought this was gonna be kind of a quick one. In here, I had to redo it. That's okay, maybe I just won't decorate it. If you're doing a box, you know how you want it decorated, so. And you can see the picture. I'm not cutting the um, inside part of these tabs yet. I'm going to come back and do that after doing the other one. I think that's going to be the best, the best choice right now. So... So we're supposed to go camping, hopefully. It's not gonna rain. Um, we're supposed to go to the Colorado River. So I'm making this video ahead of time. But usually, if I can get a good video where we are, I'll post it. At least a quick, you know, a quick short one. Now I'll come in and get these. And just come in here. Snip that. And there we go. Now we have to fold it in. So now you bring your instructions out and it's going to show you all the ways to fold it. And so we're basically folding, folding. And how nice is this? Not to have to worry about erasing pencil lines on here and doing a, um, sorry, folk, doing a, if I didn't, if I didn't, don't get it all, then it leaves a mark. And especially like a box, you know, now you could do mats and layers and that would fix it and everything, but. Maybe, maybe it won't hide it. Matte layer doesn't go always to the end. So I do like doing the. So, and this folds down, and this folds down. Oh, this one has to be folded too. Doesn't look like I gave myself a score mark there. So I'm just gonna write it in really write it but mark it in just to help me get that folded in there we go so here's the box and so to close the box it's going to go up into itself Mm.
And there it is. There's the box. So I'm thinking with this thing. In the middle it says. Select. Yep. So it says to take your strip. Cut out your strip. Have your pictures ready. And then you would cut these slits. I'm going to just do this small section. Just a quick. Just to quickly show and give you an idea. And then a score line, score line. These are the little corners you cut. Here's a score line, score line. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, so you're just gonna cut it out. I'm gonna do this kind of quickly here. Getting a little curve here. Just a little curve. Okay. So, now you're going to just fold back and forth like this. You would have your pictures on. And it would fold this way. This is your glue strip. So, get this how you want it. Uh, use your bone folder and fold it nice and tight. Let me just show you the difference. So, this is without it being bone folded. But if I came through and used my bone folder on these folds, it makes a big difference. It's just a nice, tight fold then. That one's not that great, but in this. Now, if I wanted to make this longer, I'm going to cut, take this strip and tie it to this end. Not tie it. Glue it to this end. And that's how I would make the strip bigger. But right now, like this, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And so what you would do is I would decorate it first, have everything decorated, take the glue and put this, glue it down. I'll just do it real quick just to show you. Okay, just put it where I'm trying to center it here. Put it in straight. <coughs> it might be hard to see the white on the white. And there we go. And it would lift up and down. That's why if you have the tab, you want to make it longer, you just glue the tab here. And you can go. And if you do matte layers on it, and they give you this matte layer, this round. Where would that round matte layer go? 
up here. Maybe. But you also get these dies that come that you can use on different things. And here's an oval here that, you know, would probably fit there. But anyways, then you can fold it back up. Stick it all together. Get it lined up. And close it up. Seems a little cockeyed, but there it is. There's our box, okay? So then when they open it up, they can see this. You don't even have to glue the box together. Then you don't have to use it for this. If you wanted to use this for something small, um, you have to make sure the person's paying attention and not just going to let it fall out, but I didn't get it back together real good this time, but it, there we go, and there you go, so we did that pretty quickly. Of course, I didn't do any decorating, but that just makes it so much longer. But if you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, thanks for joining me. Where's the cover for this? I don't see it. Thanks for joining me. There it is. And I hope you'll join me again. Everybody have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.